Let's get back to the governor's state of the state address and the reaction to it. His speech last night, Democratic State Representative Christine Sinicki from here in Milwaukee posted a comment on her Facebook page during the speech expressing her frustration over what the governor had to say. Now people are talking about her unique choice of words, specifically a swear word. I spoke with Representative Sinicki, who told me she regrets her choice of language. In her district, though, people were generally disgusted by it. Yeah, unprofessional. Yes, unprofessional. Like, Agreed. At a Cudahy restaurant, people had some strong reaction after we showed them a controversial Facebook post by State Rep. Christine Sinicki. Oh my God, this speech is so full of I wish I could get up and walk out. Well, I imagine she could have. That's very rude. <laughs> During Governor Scott Walker's State of the State address last night, Sinicki posted the comment, OMG, this speech is so full of I wish I could get up and walk out. During a phone interview with Sinicki, the seven-term Democrat said she was expressing irritation, but sorry for the offensive wording. I do regret, you know, cussing publicly, but, you know, we're all human, and we all have emotions, and we all get frustrated. Sinicki said she's friends with the governor, but will never agree with him politically. She wanted to clarify this wasn't a personal jab at the governor, just his policies. Often people post things on social media that they don't have the guts to say in person. Would you have said that straight to Governor Walker's face? Oh, yeah. I would have no, you know, I'm that kind of person. I call it as I see it. Some of her constituents were a little stunned by her language. I mean, she has her own opinion, but... Um, so does he, so I think she should have just, you know, used a little self-restraint and, and, you know, and be diplomatic about it. Representative Sinicki noted the post was made on her personal Facebook page, but acknowledged that everything she says is subject to public scrutiny.